last whatever 20 years or so there's kind of a standard way that concert films are done for television or the concerts are shot for television with like you know it's kind of you can almost see the director calling it from the truck like go to camera three go to the boom and then there's like the guy on the side of the stage who does the tilt and then he like zooms in and then they cut to the other shot that you know, and there's kind of and, and so I thought it would be interesting to to do the concert this to document the concert this way just because it would have a real different feel it didn't seem it. like it that when you got the cameras and all the stuff that it was like we're making a concert movie. It just seemed like, well, let's just try this experiment and see what happens. Yeah, I think even actually going into it, the idea was more that we were going to make a DVD. And then after it was shot and we started editing it, I started thinking about projecting it and then went and looked at it on a video projector and right. to see if it could hold up, see if it would be interesting. I know I'm speaking for the guys that this is special and cool by everyone being part of this. 20 years from now, you're going to be able to watch this and be like, Awesome, I fucking shot that back. <laughs> we had to, you know, research people's birthdays, you know, get their, do their numerology. People's yeah. age multiplied times their seat number. And of know, course, divided the, by the date. At the venue, you know, they Some were. Wu-Tang number everybody stuff. Everybody had to undergo breathalyzer test, um, random drug testing also, mm -hmm. just to make sure the audience is clean, you know. Push-ups. Yes, we also applied the current 2005-2006 uh, NBA dress code. No jeans were allowed, you know. Had what is a dress code? Shirts. Just a button-down shirt and no jeans? No jeans. And that's and it? I, I don't know about sneakers. Might have to be shoes, too. Mike, you might be breaking the laws right now. Oh, oh I'm, ugly I'm sweaters. in violation. Ugly sweaters, I think, are good by the NBA dress code. I think those get, like, two thumbs up from the We can get yeah. Angelo Jumpers involved. Yeah. Yeah, the Bill Cosby sweater, big, big in the league. The only main rule was to, we asked them to start shooting at the beginning of the concert and shoot until the end. I think the idea was that somehow that would help us to sync the stuff, but uh, turned out that really didn't have anything to do with syncing because high heat cameras don't hold any kind of code. And also, we had audio on the cameras, so it's pretty easy to, to see where to sync them. Yeah, there, Not was enough, of, there was a lot of uh, there was a lot of really sleazy porn stuff. I, you know, I gotta say, I'm a little actually disappointed about the quantity of porn. You want yeah, more, you want more raunch. I wanted a little more raunch, and and they didn't bring it. Wow. I gotta be honest. I would I would have expected a couple people. Children yeah. these days are more conservative. Yeah, than they on really are. They really what, are. You thought like they'd go over off on their own and just like do something. Yeah, I was clean. I was hoping for it. Something. Okay. Some poop, a little sex, something. I don't know. There's no poop at all. There's no pee. poop. There's, there's urine. urine. Yeah, there's urine. urine. But it's poop free. Completely. So if you're like a golden showers weirdo or something, this is the film for you. Which, I, you know, I, I'm not saying that I am, but, or, or have been. How did we get this? Where do we go with this? In the last whatever.